what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Poco F5 5G and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest project Elixir ROM and this is the version 4.1 and of course based on Android 14 and the build date here is of 23rd February 2024 but before I start this video let me actually give you my experience with the Evolution X ROM well I tried the last build that I tried it actually had a lot of problems with the Google account and all I had to clean flash every time I updated it but the play store and stuff it was not simply loading and i was actually looking for some other alternatives for now and i just found out that there is the project elixir rom and i know there is another youtubers kind of build that it has a lot of different features in the lock screen and all this rom is the public build that i have been using i will also try that build if you guys want to let me know down there in the comments but i am actually trying this particular public build so that i can give you my experience on the latest public build of course if you don't know how to flash this project elixir rom on your poco fi you can check out the description in the about phone section it looks really cool has the project Elixir logo and the version right here the font actually looks really cool in the android version section this is how it looks like and this is maintained by chaitanya so huge thanks to the developer of this rom and we have the android version as android 14 and have the security patch as latest of february 5th 2024 we have the elixir version as 4.1 again and here is the stock kernel which is some 5 to 10 version and we have the slm status showing as enforcing and the device is of course marvel the code name of poco f5 in the system settings this is how it looks like we have the gestures and all we have the double tap and the swipe click screenshot and we have the navigation mode right here then in the settings of it we have the swipe to invoke assistant and you are of course getting the gemini kind of options as you can see it looks really cool we have the left edge right edge customization the pill length option and we have the back gesture height customization then we have the gesture indicator and we also have the back gesture animation and the haptic feedback as well we also have the two and three button navigation in the settings of it we have the invert layout and the compact layout option we have the press and hold power button action then we have the quickly open camera and we have the playback control as well then we have the one-handed mode that should be working yes it is working fine we have the prevent ringing lift to check phone is also there and i actually tried with the show ambient let me actually do that if i just put the device on the desk right now and if i just pick it up as you can see it is working perfectly fine and i can just unlock the phone so lift check phone is actually working fine here double tap on the fingerprint scanner feature is there so you can customize it between these many options a plethora of options are present i have also enabled the developer options and there is a system ui tuner we have the status bar icons right here you can enable the vaulty icons and all then we have the ambient display kind of settings you can enable always on display and we have this do not disturb thing in the plugins it's empty let me go back we also get a uh, elixir updater so you can check for updates whenever you need to from here and you can also get the early access from here now this is how the home screen looks like in my opinion this definitely looks so dope to the left of the home screen we have the google's discover page it is very smooth experience everywhere and swiping up will get you to the app drawer swiping down will get you to the quick setting panel by disabling the dark theme as you can see the quick setting panel totally stays white so that looks really really nice i have to say here and everywhere even in the light theme it looks good in the dark theme let me just switch to it again and in terms of the toggles you do get plethora of toggles over here you can have a look from right here on the screen i'm not going to show you every toggle every time in the power menu this is how it looks like if i tap on restart i can directly reboot to the recovery or fast boot from here because i have the advanced reboot enabled by the way the stock launcher here is the pixel launcher so it doesn't have too much customization it only has that session disabling option that's it there is no double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen but there is double tap to sleep on the status bar so that works in terms of the wallpapers it has really cool options i would say in the wallpaper section let me just go into the more section and in the elixir walls there are plethora of, of these options as you can see there are project elixir kind of options these definitely look really really cool i have to say i have been using this green one and looks good we also have this random wallpapers and we also have the come alive or the live wallpapers then the living universe wallpapers are also there and all the pixel kind of wallpapers you will get all the options as you can see let me go back from here and in this wallpapers and styles we also have the themed icons in the app grid you can change up to five by five then in the lock screen if you go into it we have the lock screen clock styles of android 14 and just notice how beautiful they look yeah superb options are here of android 14 they look really beautiful and we also have the wallpaper section right here and if you scroll down more a little bit over here we have the shortcuts lock screen shortcuts of the left and right we have the more lock screen kind of options right here talking about basic stuff yes in terms of drm info it shows as l1 here so you won't be having any issues with 10 p streaming in netflix or amazon prime and in terms of the play integrity check as you can see it passes the device integrity and the basic integrity and i didn't have any issues with the banking apps that i have been using over here the ir blaster here works perfectly fine 
in terms of Google Photos, it does show that this pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos. So that's a really nice feature to have right out of the box. Let's talk about the camera a little bit. Well, we are getting off the Leica camera version 5 and it is working flawlessly over here. We have the 0.66x and the 1x, the 2x option. Everything is working perfectly fine. No issues whatsoever with it. Swiping up will get you even more options if you enable it from the settings. And if you just swipe down, you will get all the options of Leica camera version 5. And if you just switch to the portrait mode, yes, that too is working perfectly fine. No need to worry about it. The front camera and all with the portrait mode, everything is working fine. There is a 64 megapixel mode. You can use it if you want to. And in the video settings, you can actually go up to 4K and 60 FPS if you want to, just like that. And you can switch that to the pro mode as well. In the video mode, you can shoot up to 4K 60 FPS. No problems. There is a documents mode as well. You can go into the enhanced mode. All these options are still present and the Leica camera version 5 is working perfectly fine. In the settings panel, this is how it looks like. It looks really, really cool. It has this random text coming up over here. Shows right now experience the ultimate sensation. I would agree that this round definitely looks a lot more sensational. And we have this essence right here. Here you will get all the customizations, which I'll show you in the later part of the video. In the network settings, this is how it looks like we get all the network stuff then we have the connectivity options and right here you will get the animations and all of the bluetooth devices i've been using bluetooth devices no problem so far with it and in the settings of it you get the option to actually choose which are which like speaker headphone you can choose that and this are the options for this particular headset that i have been using and if you go into the connection preference you will get the more options and even the quick share nearby share is right now quick share you will get the setup and stuff over here android auto and all everything is there no need to worry notification settings you will get the flash notification option all these kind of features are working perfectly fine also in the app settings if you just scroll down a little bit more you will get the game space and you can add any game right here to get the overlay and even you can get the cloned apps kind of feature over here so you can use two accounts of WhatsApp or any app that you would want to. In the display settings, this is how it looks like. We have the brightness level, adaptive or auto brightness. The extra dim feature is there. In the lock screen, we have the privacy controls. Then we have the lock screen text. The use device control option is there. We have the dynamic control, then the always on display option. And we have the lift to check phone again. And there is the always on display scheduling option. Let me go back. We have the screen timeout up to 30 minutes. You can set it to. In the dark theme, we have this scheduling option and all. You can turn it off if you want to. Then we have the display size and text, the DPI and the nightlight customization. In the colors, we have the natural boosted, saturated, etc. options. And if you just change the values, of course, the values actually change. No need to worry about it. And inside this auto rotated screen, there is a really interesting option. There is this phase detection option for the auto rotate. There is minimum and maximum refresh rate. You can set this to 90 hertz as well if you want to. In the maximum, there is also 90 hertz. And we have the low power refresh rate. There also we have the 61, 20, 90 hertz. And there is a pocket mode as well. Double tap to wake, wake up on plug and the refresh rate per app you can set. Again, you can set it to 60 Hz and 120 Hz. There is no 90 Hz option specifically for particular apps. In the sound and vibration settings, this is how it looks like. We have the media call ring, etc. Volume control. So we just scroll down more. We have the phone ringtone, then the adaptive playback. If you just scroll down even more, we have the vibration and haptics. And in the whole UI, I would say the haptic feedback, it's really great over here. No need to worry about it while going back or while going into the home screen. In the recent panel, everywhere, you'll get a haptic feedback. And by the way, the recent panel looks like this. There is a screenshot, the select option. And if you just tap here, we'll get the split screen mode and stuff. Then we have the dial pad tone, screen locking sound, charging sound, etc. in the sound settings. And the power volume control is there. We also get the Mi Audio Dirac. In here, you will get all the headphone presets. I have been using it with the Youth Edition and it is working great. We have the choose preset option as well. You can enable the bass reduction, treble reduction, bass booster, etc. And we also have the enable hi-fi option for the headsets. We have the clear speaker option as well. Now it's time I'll show you the battery settings. We have the optimization profiles per app you can actually do. You can set it to benchmark and all. I'll set that for the benchmarking apps. Then I'll show you the benchmarks in the later part. And we have the battery saver right here. The charging control is there. I have been using that. But if you want the most amount of fast charging, make sure you disable the charging control. We have the battery optimization again and you can do that per app. On the bottom, you will see the battery temperature is slightly grayed out, I would say. I don't know why, but yeah, you can actually see the battery temperature right here, but there is no battery charging cycle or current or design battery capacity over here in the settings i would have loved to see those particular things in here but they are simply not present here hopefully those will be added in the future updates but right now let me just switch to the Aku battery app and in here i'll show you the estimated battery life that i have been getting it is showing about 10 hours of screen on time i would say that's great numbers and in, even in terms of the screen off or the standby time it shows more than three days and even combined use shows as 18 hours for me and I would say that is really, really good battery life. And this ROM definitely doesn't give you any headaches about battery life. Definitely gives you one of the best battery lives out there, I have to say. And the health section for me in here, 
it shows as 87% as estimated with my charging habits. It is depending on four sessions. And if you want to know about the fast charging stats, here are the fast charging numbers as a screenshot on your screen. Now, in terms of security settings, this is how it looks like. And this is where I have a complaint. I will be talking about it, but here, let me show you in the settings of it. We have the quick unlock, then the scramble pin layout and all these kind of settings. Let me go back. We have the fingerprint and face unlock both. But if you go back and go into the more settings right here, if you just scroll down a little bit more, there is no app lock in this particular ROM, which is kind of a bummer. I would have loved to see an app lock in this ROM, but yeah, maybe it will be added in the future updates. As of right now, I'm not getting an app lock in this particular public build. Let me just enable the always on display. And with that, let me show you how it looks like. Yes, this is how it looks like because I have been using this particular clock. And just notice the animations working perfectly fine. Let me just lock the device again. And if I just tap the fingerprint scanner, just notice how fast it unlocks. Definitely, I, I can say it is one of the fastest fingerprint scanner experience I have seen. And yeah, it is not giving me any issues so far. And the fingerprint scanner speed again, it's very fast. And even from the lock screen, if I show you the unlocking animation, yeah, this is how it looks. But let me just set up the face unlock quickly. Let me show you how it works. And in the settings of it, we do not have any swiping up on lock screen to actually unlock with the face unlock. But here, let me just try that on the lock screen. Yes, it straight up unlocks if you just go into the lock screen, as you can see. That's how it is. It doesn't ask you to swipe up or anything. It just straight up unlocks with a face unlock. I am slightly disappointed that there is no app lock over here. But leaving that aside, now let me talk about the performance and all. Well, with the test UFO website, as you can see, it is running at 120 hertz. No problem so far with it. And here, if I open multiple different apps like X and all, and in here, it is working fine. I'll open different apps, as you can see. And right now, if I just open X and if I scroll, just notice how smoothly it does that. Everywhere, I do not find any problems. Even the RAM management over here is great. And I have to say here, it is a really, very stable experience that I have been getting. It is straight up knife on butter experience. So this is really one of the best performance that I have got out of the Poco A5 on Android 14 that I can say. Actually, after the HyperOS update, the Evolution X that I have been using became a little bit unstable, but yeah, with time, every ROM improves. Otherwise, I would say the overall UI performance here, it's really great. Really gets a thumbs up from me. And these are the Android 2 and Geekbench score over here in this particular ROM. The CPU throttle test has been removed from Play Store, so I can't include that anymore. I would say I'll switch to the customization section. In here, you will get all the customizations of this ROM, has this kind of animation, and we can donate to the developers from right here. And we also have the theme section right here. We have the custom themes. I have been using it with the Vivid Monet option, and it looks great. It has this pitch black kind of effect with dark theme. We also have the headline and body fonts, and just notice there is the nothing dot font and all. So no need to worry about the fonts over here. Plethora of options you will get. In the icon packs, again amazing amount of options as you can see and even in the icon shapes plethora of options then we have the signal icon styles right here and again just notice the amount of options present over here are huge we have the wi-fi icon styles as well again huge amount of options then we have the brightness data style as well and if i just switch to this translucent one let me show you this is how it looks like and i can switch to the leafy outline and this is how it will look so yeah you get the idea there are a lot of options we have the data icon style as well you can use whichever you want to i'll prefer this one so with 5g turned on this is how it will look by the way vault calling and stuff everything is working fine here no need to worry you can switch the output device over here and we also have this recording option and the video calling and all everything will be working fine here again and 5g speeds and stuff or wi-fi speeds are really great over here in this room no need to worry in the lock screen we have the double tap gesture right here and we have the edge lighting option as well you can use it if you want to we have the screen off animation you can change it to see at your scale we have the fingerprint authentication vibration ripple effect and the lock screen charging info then we have the status bar option we have the 4g icon then the show data disabled icon as well brightness control by sliding a finger in the status bar as you can see you can increase or decrease the brightness just like this now here we have the show notification count then the wi-fi icon type colored icons and the quick setting quick pull down option is there then we have the icon manager right here we have the again headset bluetooth kind of icons then the battery styles you can actually change it to ios 16 style if you want to and we have the battery percentage you can change it to right next or sender we have the traffic indicators the island notification is there you can enable it if you want to and we have the lock screen clock style changing option in the status bar you can change it to left right or center and you can also customize the size and stuff the font size and the other options over here for the status bar clock then we have the background chip as well for the clock you can customize that quick setting panel and we have the height quick setting in secure lock screen height status bar haptic feedback clock font size and we have the header image right here you can customize that and you can also use custom your own image 
we have the detailed usage option in the quick setting panel then we have the brightness slider style i have been using it on the bottom so that i can always access the brightness slider over here in the quick setting panel auto brightness icon is also there then we have the gestures and these are the system kind of gestures i would say then we have the miscellaneous settings in here we have the advanced reboot and we have the ignore window secure flags make heads up less annoying in call vibration options are there we have the show volume panel on the left side then we have the unlock higher APs in games and inside game space we can of course add any game that you would want to. Even with all of those features I do miss one thing over here that there is no long press power button to toggle torch in this room so that is really annoying. Yes you can set the double tap fingerprint sensor to flashlight so that is there. Right now as you can see I can use that but I do like the long press power button to toggle torch much more. And with all the features and stability I would say in this particular ROM this is definitely feeling like one of the best ROMs available for the Poco A5 right now with Android 14. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this particular ROM. I feel this is again one of the best options right there. Please share this video with your friends if you felt this ROM is really good for Poco A5. And subscribe to the channel if you have not yet give this video a thumbs up if you like this rom and this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now